Rangers could hold the ace up their sleeve in this Lauren Shanklin. Lauren? Lauren? <laughs> Lawrence? <laughs> Lauren. Lauren Shanklin uh, transfer race between, well, I mean, anyone who wants to sign Shanklin. Because Ibrox News has broke this, but to be honest, some people may have known this for some time. But apparently this is a big deal. James Tavernier and Lauren Shankland share the same footballing agent. Dun, dun, dun. I, I mean, I guess it would make maybe conversations easier, but y y you see across world football, like football agents seem to employ about like a thousand people. And it's not even taking the piss. Like uh, that, that one that died of a heart attack. Um... I can't remember his name, but he was like Pogba's agent. He he was literally like 400 peoples. Like, um, Manola was his name, Manola or something. But, man, Shankland has got goals everywhere he has went, man. Air, Dundee United, Bear Shot, Hearts. I feel like at Rangers, he would just potentially get more. Now, I'm saying potentially gets more, and that's not me downplaying Shankland stepping up to Rangers, but... He wouldn't be taking penalties, of course. James Tavern here, the same agent, apparently, haha, -ha, would be on the penalties, and therefore Shankland would be the mota. Um, I mean, I'm not saying take penalties off Tavern here, but he's not exactly. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't want to bury Tavern here, like, because I mean, he, he on big occasions in Europe, and you know, in, in the league and all, he has scored the penalties. Like the penalties he, he misses tend to be ones that. Or kind of like, you know, to go 2-0 up or something. But he does, he does miss a good few. And I kind of prefer when a striker is the one to take penalties. But who am I to judge Tavin here, man? This is the guy that bangs in free kicks for 40, 40, 50 yards out, man. So you know what? I'm going to retract that and say, fuck Lauren Shankland. James Tavin here should be on penalties till he has to walk out of Rangers on a simmer frame. But into the second bit of news here, Ben Davies, of course... There's been potential talks with Stoke City about a move for him, but Rangers have responded to these talks and slapped a four million pound uh, fee on him, basically saying that if you want Ben Davies, you're gonna go a half the head and pay four million for him. Rangers did pay three, potentially rising to four, and I, I am I, I mean I'm actually flabbergasted that the Rangers paid that amount of money. It's literally just a case of Liverpool wanted their money back, but. Honestly, man, four million for this guy, it's just such a weird signing. I'm being honest, Ben Davies. Four million? I can't see a championship club paying four million for Ben Davies. I think the I think a championship club paying like that sort of money should be for like an attacking option. And Ben Davies is is not that. Now he may help it <laughs> attacking teams time to time with his defensive ability, but that doesn't really change uh you know, a four million price tag for a defender, and I don't think we'll get four million. Whether if that be for Stoke or somebody, because he's not good enough for the Premier League, so it's not even like we could get one of them coming in now. Maybe Luton could come in. I've no idea what Luton's centre back uh, situation is, but maybe Luton could. But then Luton have got the the parachute payments, the Premier League playoff money, man, the Premier League money itself. The 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 probably bigger ambitions than Ben Davies. So who am I? Who am I really to try and uh kid that on guys but anyway i want you to uh, leave your thoughts down below because ben davies uh, come on son step up i need to see him see see in this pre-season or champions league qualifiers man and he's partnered next to john Sutter and connor goldstein ain't there to hold his hand i'm expecting big things and see if he cost us goals big stevie was right i hope i'm wrong i, ho I hope you fucking score 10 headers mate in every game and send us through to the group stages but come on ben come on big ben Clock, even a broken clock's right twice a day, son. Come on, and you're Big Ben, the biggest clock of them all.